If you ask me, I'm rather shy and really quiet from the lab. If ever a devil gets tame, it's surely me from Tasmania. And as you can tell by my name, that's where I live in Australia. I had written him a letter, which I had, for want of better knowledge, sent to where I met him down in Lachlan years ago. He was shearing when I knew him, so I sent the letter to him, just on spec, addressed as follows, Clancy of the Overflow. And an answer came directed in a writing unexpected, and I think the same is written with a thumbnail dipped in tar. It was his shearing mate who wrote it, and to have asked him I were quote it. Clancy's gone to Queensland Drove, and we don't know where he are. In my wild erratic fancy, visions come to me of Clancy, gone a droving down the Cooper where the western drovers go. And as the stock is slowly, slowly stringing, Clancy rides behind him singing, for the drover's life has pleasures that the townsfolk never know. And the bush hath friends to meet him, and, his, and their kindly voices greet him in the murmur of the breezes and the river on its farm. And, it see, and he sees the vision splendid of the sunlit plains extended, and at night the wondrous glory of the everlasting stars. By channels of coolness the echoes are calling, and down the dim gorges I hear the creek falling. It lives in the mountains where moss and the sedges touch with their beauty the banks and the ledges. Through breaks of the cedar and sycamore bowers struggles the light that is love to the flowers, and softer than slumber and sweeter than singing the notes of the bellbirds are running and ringing. Sister Bertha had a beard. The children thought that she was weird, and all of them would stop and stare, for nuns with beards are rather rare. Although she plucked it every night, it grew straight back, a fearsome sight, and didn't Sister Bertha hate it when a walrus tried to date it? <laughs> Finally, she asked if God could tell her why she looked so odd, and God responded, yes I can. The fact is, Bertha, you're a man. It doesn't take a lot of sense to tell the ladies from the gents. With that, Almighty God retired and added, By the way, you're fired. Uh, my country by Dorothy McKellar. The love of field and coppice, of green and shaded lanes, of ordered woods and gardens, is running in your veins. Let's count them. Have we got nine? One, two, everyone, three, four. Oh, oh, you may stay. <laughs>